New at 10 tonight, another development in the Antioch Police Department's racist text messaging scandal. An Antioch man says one of the involved officers wrongly arrested him, sending him to jail for more than a year before a federal court dismissed the case. Today, that man stepped forward saying he's joining the civil lawsuit against the officer and the city. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama spoke with the man and attorney John Burris today. She joins us now with the details. Jana. Julie, 27 year old Dre Sean Jackson, says that he was arrested back in 2018, and he says he's stepping forward now because he wants the officer involved in his case to be held accountable. I was chilling with a friend. Um, we were in a cul de sac. Uh, we were parked in the cul de sac because there was no parking in front of the house. Dre Sean Jackson says he was sitting in his car when an Antioch police officer pulled up behind him. The neighbor called the police and said there was an unidentified black male. In the court. Jackson says the Antioch officer took his ID and then arrested him. When he takes me to jail, he ends up, he says in his report that I told him that I had a gun and that's what it was about. He never asked me anything, like we never even had a conversation like that. Jackson says he was booked into Santa Rita jail on charges of being a felon in possession of a firearm. That was in 2018, and he spent 15 months in jail and then several years fighting the charge in court. Jackson's case was dismissed April 21st, 2022, and according to the federal court documents, quote, the government has uncovered evidence that undermines its confidence in its ability to meet its burden. The Antioch police officer who arrested Jackson was Eric Rombaugh, who recently was named in the FBI and Contra Costa County District Attorney's March report for texting racist messages that compared black people to gorillas using the N-word and one message saying he only stopped someone because they were black. It's, it's disgusting. I feel like these are the people that we you know. If we're in trouble, we're supposed to call or, you know, they're supposed to, they're sworn to protect. Jackson said although the case was dismissed, it's had a huge impact on his family and his life. I got kids. I can't see my kids. It threw a, a wrench in my life on top of not being able to get a job to this day. Collateral damage is that if a person is wrongfully arrested, if they can't get that cleared up, they have to hire a lawyer and may sit in custody in jail, disconnected from their family. Civil rights attorney John Burris says he plans to add Jackson to a growing civil lawsuit against Antioch police. We do believe that there are large numbers of citizens just like him who have been mistreated. And we hope to bring forward some of them, as many as possible. And we did reach out to Antioch police today. And Julie, we are still awaiting their response. So, Jana, what about other cases? Could we potentially see other inmates or more inmates being released from jail? Well, the Contra Costa County District Attorney's Office has said that they do plan to review criminal cases, any of them that might have had any connection with these officers that are involved in that report. So we will wait and see. Uh, attorney John Burris seems to think that right now there could be other people out there who might also be released. All right, Jana, thank you. Well, a